So folks, one of the things that I've been loving lately is all of the people who have real dirt on Donnie finally coming forward and spilling it. Some of them are doing it for opportunistic reasons, but I do feel like some folks, including Michael Cohen, are legitimately trying to make amends. And he just dropped critical insight, a massive bomb on just how terrified Donald Trump is right now. And it's based on stuff that happened a couple weeks ago but also on stuff that happened just in the last day or so because you might have seen some reports brand new that Donald Trump is still trying to get in touch with people to overturn the result that made him the loser back in 2020 and I want to read you some reporting before I play the Michael Cohen clip because it demonstrates his desperation and his fear it says the speaker of Wisconsin State Assembly Robin Voss said former President Trump called this month and pushed him to try and overturn the results of the 20 month old election. He would like us to do something different in Wisconsin, Voss, a Republican, told Milwaukee's local news in an interview that aired Tuesday. Voss said Trump reached out to him last week after Wisconsin Supreme Court issued a decision earlier this month retracting the use of absentee ballot drop boxes. This ruling set a decision in 2020 by the Kim Electoral Commission expanding the use of drop boxes because of the pandemic was unlawful and their use should be restricted to the offices of election clerks going forward. So basically, Donald Trump's argument is without any proof that because of this decision, retroactively, he is 100% the winner of the state and should be made winner of the state. But this is yet another move by Donald Trump to make open and direct election interference. And this isn't simply about the crime. And here's where Cohen drops the bomb because he knows Donald better than almost anyone. And he knows Donald's criminality better than almost anyone. What this shows is that he is totally melting down and there's nothing that's going to save him going forward. He's too far gone. Good to see you joining us. Uh, it's interesting that you're here considering what happened. You long time, as they said, Trump fixer, as you've been called. You know Trump world better than most. So when you hear how Trump tried to call a White House support staff member, uh, you, when you heard that, you found it striking. Why is that, Michael? Well, it's striking because it's exactly what happened to me. Um, I recall there, I was raided, my home, hotel, law office, on April 9th. Approximately a few days later, I receive a phone call from a gentleman named Bob Costello, who by coincidence happens to be Rudy Giuliani's friend and his current attorney. And one of the things that he turned around and said, and I don't want to paraphrase it, I just want to give you a couple of the very same words that's going here. I spoke with Rudy, very, very positive, you are loved. That's another one of the lines that Donald uses. They put their arms around you to ensure that you stay within the, you know, the confines of what he wants you to say. And then they turn around and they further make a great statement, which is that um, the president knows exactly what's going on. Sleep tight, sleep well. You have friends in high places. So what is that saying? What does that sound like to you? Uh, it sounds like to me like the president is fully aware of what's going on. He wants you to stay within his zone of comfort in terms of what you say or don't say. And if you do exactly what he says, then you will be protected because you're being protected by someone in a high place. I, I want to get to, you, to, um, to your testimony because you, you, you had testimony in 2019. But the, the former president trying to contact someone that he didn't often or that he had no communication with previously. Is that telling to you? Yeah, it is. What it tells me is that he's extremely nervous. Why? Because first of all, in my tenure with him, I never saw him call anybody. He would have Keith Schiller do it, Hope Hicks, myself. Later on, he would have guys like Corey Lewandowski, Mark Meadows, et cetera. He would never do it himself. I think the way that I know him and as well as I know him, he doesn't trust anyone anymore that's around him. So he decided to do it himself. So, so uh, but after Cassidy Hutchinson, that he, after that testimony, what, what does that tell you? Well, it's more than just Cassidy Hutchinson. About the effect that it's having. Yeah, uh, and I think he's melting down. But it's more than just Cassidy. 